think a lot of times people drive by a lake or a river and think everything's occurring naturally. Uh, the fish are always there, habitats always very high quality and, and clean. And that's not always the case. Our staff are working constantly to monitor fish populations and habitat and water quality to ensure that the habitats are there and that the fish are there for them to enjoy and use. My name is Clint Peacock. I'm Assistant Chief of Fisheries with Georgia Department of Natural Resources. And I work to set our priorities and work on a statewide level to meet management needs. Fishing in Georgia brings in well over a billion dollars to our state on an annual basis, which is a huge driving force of how people use the natural resources in our state. And those habitats require ongoing monitoring and, and fish stockings to ensure our anglers are successful. Some of the most popular sport fisheries in the state wouldn't exist without our hatchery program and our stocking of them annually with multiple species to ensure that they're there for our licensed anglers. It's important for our work to think on a long-term scale. That's the scale nature works on, right? It's not just one year's worth of fishing. It's not one year of stocking fish. It requires these fish to have a full life cycle. And a full life cycle means quality habitat and water quality at all times so they can establish these thriving populations. And that's what our licensed anglers really expect from us and, and our resources, so that they can go out and reliably catch fish, enjoy the water, and really benefit from Georgia's natural resources. One of the primary responsibilities of our agencies, biologists and technicians, is annual fish population monitoring. And this occurs typically in the spring and the fall with a variety of gears. And it's designed to detect any potential problems in population trends before they get out of hand. And we're not just monitoring sport fish that anglers are out there targeting, we're monitoring full fish communities to ensure healthy ecosystems for years to come. Conservation work in Georgia takes a very large team. It is not something we can carry out just with our agency. So we'll often work with non-governmental agencies or NGOs. We'll also work with universities or other state and federal agencies to make sure that our shared objectives are being addressed collaboratively. As our agency works to meet our objectives here in Georgia, we also work collaboratively with neighboring states and other states across the country to ensure we're able to, to improve these resources for generations to come. I'm very excited about not just fisheries management work in Georgia, but conservation work as a whole. There seems to be an increase in public interest in our work, which provides us a great opportunity to educate the public about the issues we face and the work that we do. Also, the work that we carry out to meet these problems can serve hopefully as an example to other states who are facing similar challenges. And likewise, we can learn from those states as they've already solved some of the problems that are present here in Georgia.